Got a Photoshop question? Brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. It's Ask Dave. Tom Kitchen asked the question, what is the slice tool for? Well, the slice tool is a generally used for web design. It's one of the ways people, if they want to mock up a website and or even make a very basic one, one or two page website, make it so that certain parts of the image load a certain way and act a certain way. So for example, here's a layout. Let's pretend this is going to be our page for a, a web basic website. I want these to be buttons that people can click on to do something. Well, right now it would load as one big JPEG. So if I go to my crop tool, underneath it, you'll find the slice tool. And what I can do here is for now, I'm just going to draw around this one word and you're going to see it's going to automatically kind of slice everything else and kind of go, this is one big slice, this is a slice. So I could come in here and basically finish these off and say that needs to be a slice. So does this and so does this. And you can also, it's very important, the slice select tool is one that allows you to kind of tweak the results. So if you need to, for example, it would make better sense if I just kind of made these match up here so there was just one big button. And I would also, if I was going to do this, if I was worried about size of file, I might make this a slice and that a slice just to, again, help with things loading. But again, part of the reason for doing this is I want these to be act a little differently. So not just be a graphic. So if I go to the slice select tool, if I double click on this slice, it's saying it's an image and this is what the name it's given it. But one of the things I can do is say, I want this to be tied to a URL. So whatever, I can type packages. Now, let me stress, this is a very basic way of doing a website. It still works, but this is kind of the long way, and that's why you probably don't hear people talk about the slice tool quite as much as we used to. So I'd, I would have to go through, and anything that I want this to be a button, in effect, I'd have to add a URL and make sure it was all correct. Click OK. And then, at this point, it's still a Photoshop document. It happens to have these things called slices. So the final piece of the puzzle would be save for web and devices. In this dialog box, I can do a number of things, including decide on the quality of my graphics and things like that, but I can also preview it. And you'll see it's now previewing, and when I go to hover over the word packages, it's showing that that is actually a clickable link. So the final step would be, when I don't know that it works, would I go to save, and in the save dialog box, I'm gonna save both uh, I'm going to save all slices and I want HTML and images, which means give me the HTML file that puts all this information into it. And again, I'm kind of summarizing this all very quickly. A lot of people, when they're creating websites these days, use some other method, whether it's a WordPress system or Dreamweaver or something. But having said all that, you can still create a pretty functional, nice, basic website using Photoshop and the Slice tool. Ask your short Photoshop question using the contact form here at Kelby TV or through Twitter at Dave Cross. Thanks for watching Ask Dave, brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals and the Dave Cross Workshops. We'll see you next time.